after having the opportunity to go to many places for a period of time, then I thought about what kind of trees I should choose to suit the soil in Jinning province and be good for the health of the community and be able to replicate the model. I finally decided to choose mulberry trees. The reason is that it shows the soil in my locality. It isn't too hot and not too cold, especially because it's easy to grow and less pests. That's why I decided to start my business from mulberry trees. The audience, today I would like to invite you to Tung Dinh Wan Suda Kamu Yuman District to learn about the story of why the mulberry trees grow and develops in this land. Mulberry is a well-known plant, however, it's a long process to take care of and make this plant grow. It requires farmers to be meticulous and skillful in cultivating. The family of Mr. Vo Nguyen Vo living in Tung Dinh Wan Hamlet, Sudak Kamu, Yuman Yau District, has been in love with mulberry trees for about three years, gradually showing the effectiveness from growing this kind of plant. There are many varieties of mulberry here. This is a variety of dialect mulberry, about one month later, when we pluck leaves, it will bear fruit again. How busy is this garden? I am growing about 300 mulberry trees on 5,000 square meters. When did you start growing mulberry trees? I had this idea since my father passed away. At that time, I also asked myself what should I do in the province. Which trees should I choose for tourism? After thinking as well as surveying many times the plants, I found that this type of plant has characteristics that are suitable for the soil of the Ding province. The temperature is between 25 to 40 degrees, neither too hot nor too cold. It's really suitable with the mulberry trees. Did you have any difficulty during the growing process? It isn't too difficult to grow mulberries, but it requires the diligence and meticulousness of the farmer. For example, you have to pick up leaves of the tree as tall as this. It's also very hard to pick up the leaves of the whole garden like this, or the watering, fertilization, and weeding all need the great care of the farmer. Mulberry trees grow well in the right conditions. During the fruiting stage, it's necessary to add more water so that the tree can grow and bear more fruit. Fertilizer is mainly manure to provide consumers with clean fruits. Pests and diseases are also less, so farmers can limit the use of fertilizers. It's mainly to prune the trees so that their canopies can spread out into many layers. Look over there, the gardener is adding chemical fertilizers to make fruit sweeter. In addition to manure, we also apply a little chemical fertilizer, right? Manure is still the most important thing. The tree must have enough water, the fruit will be succulent. Are you prepared to make the tree here bear fruit? As you can see, the leaves start to turn yellow. It means the trees are about to bear fruit. We just pick leaves for the whole tree. Picking the leaves is to stimulate it, and it will start to bear fruit like the one we saw earlier. And we try it out. I see it has buds like this. It's like the apricot tree at our home. It will also have buds like this. The new buds are sprouting here. The fruit will grow right there. The audience am currently experiencing picking mulberry leaves, like picking apricot leaves at home. We will have young birds like this. When we pick leaves, these birds will sprout and bear fruit. And we will pick the leaves of the whole tree, right? It's also very meticulous, very elaborate. We also have to manage to pick up the leaves so that they don't break. 
picking apricot leaves at home. Do we keep picking them on up? Cut off on young birds. Cut off on young birds, right? To get a fruit to sprout. How long does it take for the tree to bear fruit after picking the leaves? About four to five weeks. We will take any brand with yellow leaves like this. After four to five weeks, the tree starts to bear fruit. I see a lot of little bugs at the top of the branch. That's right. Let us sprout new bugs and bear fruit. After three to four weeks, the mulberry trees will start to sprout new bugs and bear fruit. Do we have any more fertilizer during this period? This period is very important. Right now, after picking up the leaves, we have to fertilize cow manure and especially provide enough water for the plants. This is a sun-loving plant, but we must provide it with enough water so the sap of the fruit is even and use plenty of fruit. How many times do we have to water in one day? Every day just to water it. Water it every day, right? Mulberry variety grow in Mr. Fool's garden are mostly collected from many different places. Its variety will have different characteristics of fruit sap and yield. So farmers must know and understand its type to have different ways of caring and harvesting, especially knowing how to make the trees bear up season fruits to ensure a year-round supply for the market. A little sour, a little sweet. It's better to dip it in condensed milk. The tourists coming here love to eat like that. Now we will try it to see how delicious the mulberry is. Very sweet. A little sour. Very delicious. It's more delicious to dip it in condensed milk. Eating like this, I feel the whole taste of it. Very delicious. Very interesting. I have enjoyed mulberry juice and mulberry wine before, but today it's very interesting to try fresh mulberries like this. Eating here? Yeah. From the modern thinking of farming, Mr. Bo's Mulberry Garden has become an interesting place for tourists to visit and taking as coming to Tening, thanks to the idea of combining agriculture with experimental tourism. Contributing to making Tening as an ideal sightseeing and experience destination for tourists near and far. I think that the upcoming trend of the Ninh province is to develop agriculture combined with tourism. I also found that the Ninh also lacks many connection places in the tourist chain when coming to our province. Currently, the Ninh has Badem Mountain, Yau Ting Lake, and Cao Dai Horisi, so I think that I am building a part of that tourism chain, contributing one more option for tourists from everywhere to come to the I realize Tening is lacking many products as gift for tourists coming here, apart from available specialties such as rice paper, chili salt. We just visited the mulberry garden. Now I would like to introduce to you some of my mulberry products. This is mulberry jam for the kids to use with pizza and bread, or used as an ingredient to make sachets of mulberry yogurt, one of our specialties. The second product I want to introduce to you is mulberry wine. 
a rather that they are very interested in 14 degree white made from mulberry. My hand now is holding mulberry white fruit and produced by Mr. Vu himself. It's so beautiful. I wonder what it tastes like. Let me try a little bit. With a forward thinking mindset, the bonus in trending traditional farming methods combined with available local advantages, farmers have more and more creative models and best practices, thereby contributing to economic development and creating more income for families and localities.